Of course you've heard of the Italian hoagie burrito, right? Wait, you haven't? Oh, well that's probably because I think I just made this up. And it's amazing. Uh, it's really easy to make, and it's really delicious, and it's really fun. And look at how incredible that is. So uh, we're going to make that right now. And then uh, you're going to run to the store and go buy stuff to make that, and then you're going to eat one. And you're going to then leave me a comment telling me how awesome this thing is. I'm, I can predict the future. Yeah, so uh, let's get started. All right, so what does it take to make an Italian hoagie burrito? That those are words you never thought you'd hear put together. <laughs> this is gonna be fun. Um, we're going to take the essence, the beauty, the, the, the pure deliciousness that is an Italian hoagie, and we're gonna put it in a burrito. So, okay, I might have been, I might have been a wee bit, uh, you know, when uh, when I thought of this. Um, now that I'm sober, uh, sobered up here, uh, you know, we'll just see how this, um, I don't know, we'll find out. I don't know, could be weird, but you gotta stick around to find out. Uh, anyways, so what is in an Italian hoagie thing and why do we have this here and all this stuff? The meat. Well, it better be warm because it's a burrito. Otherwise, you're eating one of those like sandwich wrap things. No, we're not doing that. We're doing a burrito. This is not a sandwich wrap. No. So, what do we need? We need all of the goodies here. We have salami. I'm putting salami down, and we're going to put this in the oven and heat this up. So, I've got about three slices of good sized salami. This is a big, like a three inch salami. You can see the uh, diameter of that. Woohoo, it's a good one. So we're gonna put some of this down, we're gonna lay this out. This is gonna fill up the center part of our burrito. So we're trying to kind of make that size here because we're gonna put the cheese on it and melt it all in and everything. So this is kind of important. What else do we have? We have a little bit of ham here. I've got um, three slices of just a regular, like a Black Forest uh, sandwich ham that is uh, right here. I've uh, cut these into ribbons. Now why am I cutting these up? You could leave it whole. It is theoretical, you could do that. But this seems like it would be much easier to eat. So I'm going to shred everything. What else do we have? I have capicola. Capicolo. Now this stuff is a little hard to find sometimes, but uh, it is available. If your deli counter uh, doesn't have it, you might find it in the individual packets. Uh, hanging with the other uh, sandwich meats and things like that. And uh, if you find it, it's delicious and it's not cheap. So enjoy the hell out of it. Now this is a actual deli bologna. Um, for some reason where I live, I haven't found more to deli yet. I have tried everywhere and nobody seems to have it. So bologna is our next thing here. I've got four slices of bologna. This is the big bologna, the, the big sucker, and they slice it off for you. Yeah, this is it. So you see, we're getting a really, really large, let me see if I can do this. Woo -hoo -hoo. We're getting a very, very large bit. Uh, that's probably making you dizzy. Large bit of meat here. This is perfect because we're using a giant tortilla. All right, pepperonis. I've got about a handful of pepperoni, six or eight, something like that. And we're just going to sprinkle this in here. Perfect, that looks amazing, incredible. And we have all of our veggies. But now we're going to take this and we're gonna put some provolone on it because provolone, okay, this goes in the oven. We're going to just toss this in there until basically it gets warm and the cheese melts. Uh, that depends on your oven, mine's set at 350. It'll probably take three or four minutes, something like that. And then we're going to assemble our uh, burrito. Now the tortilla is in a frying pan that is on super, super low. It's actually turned off at this point. You want it warm, otherwise it's really hard to roll a burrito. If you do this with a cold tortilla, will not work. So start preheating your tortilla now. And uh, this is going in the oven. Ooh, look at that, ain't it pretty? All right, here we go. So what tortilla do you need to make this Italian hoagie burrito? Well, you need this monstrosity. These things are huge. This is the, I, I don't know how to pronounce that, riquissimas? Something like that. They are massive. 
Uh, these do tend to break up uh, quite a bit. Uh, don't think you're going to eat all eight of them. Mm, around the edges, they get a little funky. So uh, basically, this is what you need. And you might get four or five out of this bag that aren't completely destroyed. You can see the edges where they're kind of destroyed. Just nature of the beast. That's the way it is. But yeah, here's the tortilla we're using. We're just heating this up a little bit so that it's nice and soft and pliable. Uh, and then we're going to start rolling here in two seconds. All right, the meat is out of the oven and you see the cheese is nice and melted. It's looking lovely. The smell is incredible. When you make this, you'll love me because that smells awesome. So here's our tortilla. You can see it's nice and large. It's been heated up. We're going to assemble this upside down. It's a burrito, doesn't really care. But this makes it much easier to do this. So we're gonna take a handful of lettuce here and we're gonna lay this down. There you go, a little bit of that, boom. See, we're having a salad. Okay, little tomatoes, perfect. This is what I like to use as veggies. If you like other things as veggies in this, um, too bad, this is what you have to use. No, use whatever you want, obviously. But this is a great combination and it's amazing and a lot of people don't do this. So it, try it at least once. If you don't like it, don't do it again. This should be kind of a rule in life, shouldn't it? Try it at least once. Okay. Red onions, diced up. Perfect. Now, here's the weird ingredient. Everyone's like, huh, what? Diced up pickles. Swear to God, it's delicious. This is so good. Just a little bit of this, not a ton, don't go crazy. The one thing every Italian hoagie must have, pepperoncinis, okay? This is a jar of pepperoncinis that I've, I've uh, sliced up. This is going to be amazing and delicious. Try and get this uh, spread out here. Get as much as you can. Okay, dressing. You got to put something in this. Mayonnaise or Italian dressing would be something you put on a hoagie. Well, what if you put them together? Yeah, that's right. Look at this. That is one tablespoon of mayonnaise and one teaspoon of Italian salad dressing. This happens to be like a Newman's own family style something. Wishbone's probably going to suck. Don't use the, that stuff. Uh, for this, but this is, uh, that's the ratio. This is about three uh, tablespoons of mayonnaise, but I don't need all this. So just grab a little, it's a burrito. It has to have something in it. So here you go. It's maybe a little over a tablespoon going in there. A tablespoon and a half something. Okay, so how do we get the meat in there now that it's all here? This is actually pretty easy. You're gonna love this trick. This is called the upside down Z's. There you go. Like I said, it's a burrito. It don't care. It has no, no care in the world as to which side is up. Okay. Now this tortilla may have sat and warmed up a little bit too long. This is really tough to uh, gauge time when you're trying to shoot a video. Yeah. Tortilla is a little crusty. And like I said, these things break apart pretty good, but this thing is right there. Yeah, the, it's got some wings on it. Yeah, what are you going to do? That is an Italian hoagie burrito. But is it? No. Because we're going to throw this in a frying pan and give it a little grill to, uh, you know, toast it up a little bit. So let's do that real quick. And that is a grilled Italian hoagie burrito. Again, can't imagine those words being spoken, but here we are. This is what uh, YouTube has brought us to and the internet has brought us to. I uh, can't believe you didn't see that on TikTok. I know, crazy, huh? Uh, I don't think you can make one of these in 15 seconds, but you can eat it in about 15 seconds because it's that delicious. And I'm gonna cut into it now and show you what it looks like. Are you ready for this? Are you ready for this? Oh. <laughs> what is not to love about that, huh? Oh no, a piece of something stuck to the knife. Oh, this is delicious. Seriously though, folks, 
Isn't that incredible this is? It's amazing. It's beautiful. Veggies are minimal, as you can see. Uh, you've got a beautiful dispersion of the meat and everything else. Now, if you wanted to, you can use a little bit of that mayonnaise uh, salad dressing sauce as a, like a dipping sauce for this. That wouldn't suck, but it has a lot in it already, so I don't think you're going to need it. Just saying, if you did, you could. Or just some straight Italian dressing. Just, oh man. Just saying, the, the, there's a lot of possibilities with this. But that right there, folks, is your gorgeous Italian hoagie burrito. You're welcome. All right. So thank you for watching this. Yeah, you want me to take a bite of it? Okay, but I gotta take the thumbnail shot first because otherwise it's gonna have a big bite out of it. Everybody gives me a hard time because my thumbnail has a big bite out of the thing. So hold on one second, I'll be right back and then I'm gonna bite into this thing after I get a picture of it because I can't bite it and have it too. There's a cake thing in there somewhere, but hold on. Okay, so I got some photos and a little thing of it here. So now I can eat it. And uh, I'm excited. I'm gonna bite into this sucker and because it cut it on the bias, it's kind of hanging out a little bit. What are you gonna do? Because it cut it on the bias, you get a nice big uh, piece here to grab. Mm. Mm. Oh my God. All right. Mm-hmm. Yep, that just uh, tastes as good as it looks. Wow, that is so friggin' delicious. Okay, I'm gonna have to wrap this video up because I gotta uh, I gotta eat this thing. <laughs> that may be one of the craziest, uh, best things I've ever come up with. And you know how to make one, and you should be making one right now because they're amazing. So go out and make one. Seriously, go out and make one. All right, thanks for watching. There's that uh, subscribe thing down there if you want to hit that. Doesn't cost anything. And then I'll see you back on the next video. All right, thanks. See you then. Bye.